Well, the head of the autoimmunity and neuroimmunology lab at Tel Aviv University. So thanks for joining us. I try to just give a broad uh, brushstroke to the, the real uh, story here is, is uh, consequential as it is. So if you could describe to us a bit about what you accomplished or succeeded to do here that hadn't been done before. All right, so sure. thanks for inviting me. Uh, so basically what we try to do, I mean, uh, glioblastoma is a very deadly brain cancer. Among the brain cancers, it's one of the, mo with what, one with the worst prognosis. Yeah. So we are eager to understand what are the mechanisms that support this tumor. Recent stu in, you know, past studies try to focus on the tumor itself, but we ask a different question. We ask what is the environment the tumor grows in and if it can affect it. And what we found is a, a very interesting cell type that is usually found in the brain uh, and does wonderful things for us in terms of our growth, behavior, and whatever. And the tumor convinced the cells to become different, to become differently activated. And what they do then is trying to support the tumors. And um, if we eliminate those cells, which is something we can only do in uh, animal mice, oh, okay. um, we found that uh, the tumors vanished. I mean, basically when we do that, all the, the tumor disappears and in the control group, all the mice will die because this is a very, very deadly tumor. Uh, but within the treated group, uh, about one, as long as we kept the treatment ongoing, the mice survived. Okay. And even if you took it off, um, about 80% of the mice stayed alive for weeks after, meaning that we actually got a full remission, or almost yeah. full remission. Well, how big is the bridge from working with the mice to human trials, to, to getting this to work in the human body? Yeah, so we can do that on, on people, of course. So what we try to do next is to understand the mechanism, because we can target a cell type, but we can target specific pathways or proteins that the cell type express. And we actually found that the way the astrocytes support the tumor is by two, uh, two directions. One, they convince the immune system to stop to attack the tumor and start supporting it, like kind of just shift sides. And the other thing, it seemed that they are the main source of energy for the tumor. And if you think about the tumor, the so tumor cells have to, have to divide really, really fast. They have to proliferate, the tumor needs to grow. Once you take the, the, the power source out of the system, then basically you starve the tumor and it dies. And we were able to find the direct proteins and pathway that this thing actually works. And we found that both for the mouse and both for human cells and human samples. And we collaborated, collaborated everything very nicely. Fascinating project. I'm simplifying it, but it reminds me from my own life of uh, like a firefighter approach to sort of taking the legs out of a fire to put it out, uh, looking at, you know, rather than tossing water on it. But what does this lead now? The potential treatment pathways for, for other cancers? I mean, what, what's the broader implication here of what you've discovered? Yeah, so first of all, the question is indeed, is this relevant for other cells, other cancers in the brain? And we think yes. I mean, this is still a work ongoing, but the data we have so far imply that it is, that it should be relevant. The other papers we are taking is, so how can we treat this cancer? What can we do? So we are taking two alternative paths. One, we're trying to use existing drugs already in the market that are subscribed for other diseases or other uh, conditions and see if we can use them for this pathway in glass. So the, the things that are already approved, already on the grocery store shelf, so to say, the, exactly. the available uh, tools. And then we can okay. really, we can cut years off the development. Yeah. Uh, and this is really accepted by the FDA and it's really, you can do it really, really fast. Um, and the second thing we're trying to do is actually to develop new drugs, a new pathway, a new means to attack this pathway so we can really get a better uh, um, better treatment for those patients. Are you getting a lot of international traction? I mean, attention, funding, what is, you know, how have your initial success, is it, is it really taking you into the direction you hope to go, or you're planning to go? I mean, tell us what, what are the next steps for you now? Yeah, so exactly the, the next steps are we need to get enough funding to kind of support these programs. Yeah. But um, we are really now focusing on the repurposing of existing drugs and really focusing on trying to find new mechanism. So this part with energy is one mechanism, but we actually have indications that other mechanisms are supporting it also. So now our current study is, is trying to really investigate those pathways and see how we can combine them because then we can hit it from multiple directions at the same time and really, really eliminate this tumor. Um, For the good of all humankind here. I hope you continue with your success in this here. It's exciting breakthroughs so far. I know it's just really starting to get uh, truly noticed and recognized. Appreciate you for joining us on the sure. program too, Dr. Uh, Lior Mayo, coming to us from Tel Aviv University. So thank you and really good luck. Thank Keep you very going. much, David. Godspeed. Yes.